Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, you know, even though we are going through so many different changes, shifts, upgrades, downloads, sideways, front ways, and back ways, you know, it's good that we can all can relate and connect one way or another, which is truly a blessing. And with that being said, much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi even if it's about the content of the, the con uh the you know the return feedback to the content of my video the positive feedback of the content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction if you feel like the video is being very informative to you it even gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content in my video and I'm looking at this. I love what, uh, what is it? Sonic Elevator. I think that's what their names are. Uh, the channel is called Powerful uh, Out of Body Experience, Deep Binary Beats, Immense Astral Projection Meditation, OB Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Okas, everything uh, we go through is a process to place us on the comeback to where we were supposed to be. Um, and that's so true. It's like this morning when I got up, um, it was like, you know, things that we struggle and go through a lot, you know, um, it's, it's like, it's amazing how I'm connected with my love bugs, you know, there's people that are coming into my life on things I was looking at, you know, uh, God had, God and universe has a way of connecting us with all these different people. There is things that we can, you know, we can see from other people that they're projecting out of us that we need to pay attention to that's going on in our lives, or, you know, you're helping to project towards something that people need to understand that's going on in their lives. So it's always some way or somehow, you know, if universe cannot straight tell us or still send us blessings they'll allow us to be able to help or even connect with people that we have some start, certain things in common with either we need to pay attention to or we need to let go of or there's bringing something to the forefront but it was like this morning i was watching what was it a uh, youtuber it's called i think it's tea time and i really love all the stuff she does you know she does the gossip and you know um you know brings up the things that are going on in the world or whatever during social media or whatever and she was talking about the subject was on uh, Steve Harvey. This Steve Harvey's uh, show was ending. And it was the last day he had it. And it was just like that man spoke on some volumes. Now, I don't sit up here and I don't uh, really get into everything that, you know, Steve Harvey does. I mean, Dr. Steve Harvey has done some good things, but I don't. Um, I don't say I'm all for everything that he has done as well. But, you know, there's certain things that man has, you know, he has really spoke on. And, you know, it, it really, really touched me today. It, it brought me to tears because it's so true. Because it's like he said, he has a book that's coming out called his foundations and there was a lot of times he said you know he's 62 years old he's on the uh, six, uh, 62nd chapter and there's a lot of chapters in, in that book that represent his life there's a lot of chapters that he stayed in those ch certain chapters were too long and he was talking about being homeless and stuff like that and he wasn't understanding the process and, you know lately i don't know why but it's like i've been hearing trust the process trust the process if i'm not talking about it someone i'm talking to is talking about it or it'll come up on social media or it's just things we we do need to trust the process because it's like everything you go through, you know, if you're working and aiming towards things that you truly are trying to achieve in your life, universe, God, holy creator, whoever you, you worship or whatever is bringing us to where we are right now. You know, a lot of times we don't understand the road that we're going on, which can be very confusing as well as scary because automatically what we are humans we fear what we don't see we fear what we don't understand you know you're on a journey you're on a, a, 
the, the road of self-discovery. You're learning, you know, when, once we go through that spiritual awakening, everything is being new to us. Like you've been blind for so long and God finally blessed you with a new eye transplant. So you're seeing everything new. Everything is different towards you. So it's just like when I'm hearing this man talk about that, it's just like you have to be able to trust the process that everything that God is allowing you to go through, you know, ups and downs, hardships, setbacks. He was, this man was talking about he was homeless for years. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know how long it was, but he was, I mean, I don't know if it was years or something like that, but he's been homeless for a certain period of time. Let me just put it that way. So I don't want to sit up here and say it was longer than what it's supposed to be. So I'm not correct about that. So I'll just say he was homeless for a, a, a period of time. And, you know, a lot of people are successful. They tell about the, their hardship. It's, you know, even when I madly respect Tyler Perry, he went through the same thing. And now that man's a multimillionaire. So it's just like you have to be able to trust the process that you go through. And I, when I thought about everything that I've gone through, that man broke me down into tears. And what homegirl said on there, she's like, I don't know who needed to hear that this morning. And it really brought me to tears because um, I was talking to one of my, my soul family. We were, you know, discussing certain things and stuff like that. And I was telling her about that and I broke down because it was like, you know, there's many a days I sat up here and did not want to get out of bed. There's many a days I sat here and cried my eyes out trying to understand why the hell did I have to go through what I had to go through? Why did I have to find out about who my true identity is? this way why did i have to find out who my family is through this why did i have to find out that my family didn't even care for me it was all about what they can get you know using my name you know all these things i had to go through and i had to really trust the process to understand everything is not what it seems to be you know i had to go through these process of going through tragedy of knowing that my life has been altered in the most painful kind of way like i tell people all the time i would never wish this on my worst enemy of going through but when i really step myself back without putting emotion in it which is kind of hard to do but it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing that you know a person have to figure this out because I could not turn to anybody. Either people were jealous of me because the fact is who my dad was, or they didn't believe me. It was too heavy for them, or they just didn't want to be bothered. And that's it's sad. It's sad and scary because I had nobody I can turn to. You know, I started doing daily diaries and stuff like that. You know, and I felt better because. Uh, I can speak into my videos, you know, speak into a video, which it was, you know, secretly for me, you know, so I can be able to document everything that I went through, everything that I'm learning about myself, you know, being able to have to, you know, sit there and say, I'm this and this and this and that, you know, and it, it was just like, it really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Like I told people, I would never wish this on my worst enemy. You know, there's days I, I didn't want to get out of bed. There's days I just cried until, you know, I had headaches. My eyes were swelled shut. You know, I looked like somebody busted me in both of my eyes, screaming for my daddy. You know, uh, knowing I was hurt for the fact is I've seen my dad so many times and didn't know that was my dad. That broke my heart. Just to know that the person I thought would always protect me was the one that was trying to kill me the most because he wanted to make sure him and his wife live good, live comfortable. You took away from me. You took away from my children. That was a lot for me to have to handle. That was a lot for me to have to swallow at that one time. And knowing that and being able to open up my life and tell people, you know, I didn't place any harm on them. I won't say I didn't say no, you know, hurtful things to them, but I had to really come with peace with myself. I had to really, you know, see things for what they were. God had placed me on this certain situation because I didn't believe anything. I had a, a tumultuous, you know, toxic upbringing, you know, that you would ever want to have for a child. See, there are certain things a child should not be exposed to. You know, and it was like I didn't have the best upbringing. You know, my mom loved me, but we had that oil and water relationship. But it was truly a blessing. You know, my mom had passed away. My adopted mother had passed away. But I can say those last three to four months was the blessings to me. You know, I was upset and confused. Like, why would you allow her to be? you know, the mother I've always wanted, and then you took her from me. I had to really look at it like, you know what, this is her last, you know, last days living. Nobody wants to live their last days upset, feeling bad, putting pity party on themselves. They want to make sure their life is memorable. My, my mom, 
you know, we, we spent, like, we were just two girlfriends having drinks, going out to eat, you know, uh, watching movies, anything that you would do with a girlfriend if, you know, you're a female. And it's just like all these things that I went through um, allowed me to see I had to have faith in myself. Even when I didn't know where that faith was coming from, I had to know that, you know, universe was sending me towards a direction that was going to enhance my life and be able to to help me as I help others along the way didn't know that my videos would take an impact like this yeah I'm not a big youtuber like a lot of other people but I I feel good for the things that I am helping people with I'm, I'm feeling good to be able to know I can bring a smile to somebody's face I can make sense to the crazy situations we're placed in and you know it really took me a minute to understand why I had to go through what I go, went through um, being able to say that I can be somebody's survival guide. Um, being able to do empath counseling. I tell people I do empath counseling and being able to help others along the way making sense. You know, we can go through some really tragic situations and look at our situation and it can be so dark that you would think you would never get through that. You would never get over that. Um, you would never be able to look at people the same. You may not be able to love people the same. Um, maybe want to open yourself up the same, but it's just like, just because you have bad experiences like that, don't think that everybody did you come across. I had to really trust myself because it was like I went through so many things. Either when I helped people, they tried to block my blessings or they got enough information for me and didn't want to be bothered with me no more. And it allowed myself to really say, you know, don't be bitter because of that. Everything happens for a reason. These people were seasonal. You know, there's people that are supposed to be a lifetime. There's people that are supposed to be seasonal. They were, but I never wish anything bad on them. At one time I did. I'm not even going to lie. You know, I was a work in progress. I'm still a work in progress. Um, but now as I look at it, I can say, you know what? I was blessed. You know, no guard, you know, if they want to talk about me in the worst kind of way, it's okay. It's how I feel about myself. You know, I want to be able to see people. If, you know, it's like, hey, did you know this girl named Rosalind and this and this and that? And I want to be able to allow somebody to say, you know what? She has helped me a lot. You know, she's a very extraordinary person. Or, you know, just something, you know, positive that I can be able to see that when my name is mentioned, people would have a smile on their face. So it's just like when I see the process I had to go through, I had to know the things that I was going to go through will help many people. They are struggling to go through a lot of things. There's a lot of things I never thought I would be in that mystical way that is magical that, you know, you're like, what? What's the twin? I mean, I didn't know when I first started this, I didn't know what the heck a twin flame was. I didn't know indigo was not a color, not just a color or a group. You know, that really tells my age because I remember the, I remember the indigos, you know, <laughs> and it's just all the things that I can see myself going through. It was a process to get me where I was. Um, I didn't have the best uh, past. No, I, I had a very colorful past, but I can be able to use my past and say, you know, that's not me anymore. You know, I, you know, I, I, I uh, what was it? I shoplifted. I got evicted out of my houses. You know, I got my cars repossessed. I was on food stamps. I was on Section 8. You know, I, I used to dance. You know, I was a pill popper. I was a weed head. You know, all these different things. But I can say I'm no longer addicted to anything except it, love and light. That's the only thing I'm addicted to, making people laugh. You know, um, being able to understand, even though sometimes it can be hard to know that, you know, when things you lose is not always a loss. Um, no relationship is a waste. You know, you learn from each and every person uh, something about yourself, something about them that you can take along your way that can help you later on in the future. You know, all these different things that has occurred in my life, you know, I can thank God for. You know, I can thank him for allowing me to help people. You know, I've been through things so I can help you know, if I see a train wreck ready to come towards their way, you know, I can, you know, stop that if they gave me that chance to. Um, all those different things, I can actually say I'm very grateful for the universe allowed me to go through and me experience. I mean, yes, it sucked that I didn't get to meet my dad. Yes, it sucked that I wasn't, you know, I'm blocked from my mom. You know, all these different things, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. There's probably more than meets the eye. You know, we always hear, you never know what's going on for you behind 
behind closed doors. You have to be able to just to trust the process that you're going through. You may be angry at the world. You know, there was many days I'm angry at the world because I said, God, I know that I can talk to you all the time, but I need somebody physically I can talk to. So it's just like I tell people, I understand when you're going through a scary situation, you might not even know that you're going through a spiritual awakening. You may not know that you are, you know, heading towards dark night of the soul or uh, uh, Kundalini or Ascension and all these crazy other things that occurs in our lives. Um, to be able to help other people, you know, put an understanding behind their life, knowing that there are certain things that are occurring in your life you may not know the word for. That somebody can be able to help you. There's not that many people, you know, I've looked on YouTube as well as, um, you know, other social media sites like Google or whatever, and there really aren't that many things that, you know, talk about Hayokas. They, they talk about Hayokas, but it's not as much, you know, it's not really something that's really out there a lot like that so it allows me to be able to put out videos daily that Hayokas might be going through or Twin Flames might be going through or Wiccans may be going through that's a blessing you know to be able to get visions left and right that you know universe has blessed me to be able to do but it's just like when I tell people you know you may be going through some really hard shit right now you may not make sense of why you're going through it but it's like everything that you're working for you have to be able to go through it uh, and understand the process, you know, there, there may be days you might be pissed off at the world or pissed off at the universe because they allow things to happen to you, but you have to be able to go through it to get to it. And it's just like what Steve Harvey said, it's like the things that you have to really go through hell and high water for that you know you want desperately to happen into your life, but you had to be able to understand the process of everything that you needed to learn within life itself. Um, so you can be able to be blessed with the things that you're working hard for. I had to be able to have belief in myself. I had to be able to trust the universe to know that even though they're taking me down a road I'm not sure of, I have to trust the process to know that they're not going to abandon me. That whatever hardship that is occurring in my life now is not going to always be that way. You know, I just have to be happy that I'm able to do what I got to do. Allow things that has happened to me to be released. You know, allow things that people have put on me, have done to me, said to me, be released and just love it. Like, OK, I got to separate myself from that. I don't wish anything bad on them. I don't, you know, pray against them or whatever, because whatever you put out is what you put out and what, whatever you put out, you get put back. You know, so I allow myself to say to the universe, I'm grateful for those experiences, you know, allow myself to learn the things I had to learn about myself. You know, it gave me, this experience has gave me self-love, self-worth, self-respect, believing in myself, having that confidence in myself, knowing I have that strength if I give myself that chance. You know, yes, the power of the ego can be very annoying, overwhelming. Negative thoughts come popping in your head, which you have to be able to come to terms with. These are no longer happening to me. So I have to be able to release these and concentrate on what you're heading towards. Stay focused on that. You know, if, if a bad thought comes into your head, be able to replace that with something positive that you're trying to aim for. Remember the positive memories you had that you've done for yourself as well as other people. So when you know you're going through things, trust the process to know that whatever you're aiming towards, whatever you desperately want in your life, life it will be for you and nobody won't be able to take that away you know there's sometimes like I tell people people know who I am people know who I'm related to and they have tried to block me people knew about my situation and said nothing you know I used to be angry about those things because you know it was my mom's dying declaration for you know people if she didn't wasn't able to help me get to my dad and my mom you know before she passed she had allowed certain people that she trusted to help me get there and they said nothing you know they kept that to themselves I was very angry I separated myself from them but I can at least say I worked my ass off to get where I'm going you know um, I'll be able to do things that I've only dreamt of doing but I can at least say no matter what people say I worked my ass off to get there you know nobody nothing was handed to me because I was Prince's daughter um, any opportunity came into my life because I was Prince's daughter no I worked my butt off for it you know, I earned that. You know, I did everything I was supposed to do. So if you're you're going through certain incidences or you're struggling with things, know that it's all a process to get you to where you truly need to go. Allow yourself to learn what you need to learn. Allow yourself to let go of whatever you need to learn. Uh, let go of. Trust yourself. Love yourself. And know that better days are coming.
So I hope you were able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. And I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Miss Casey. I forgot your last name, sweeties, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a shout out on the next video because I forgot your last name. I'm going to say what's up to her and welcome to our family. Like and subscribe. Even drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate or you, you know, you truly needed to hear this. Um, if this is a sign that you needed to hear, hey, this is the sign. So, you know, live love and life with positivity um, and love. And uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, um, and share. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.